Hi then guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm that guy Ad. Today we are reviewing a CLA 45. Obviously you guys have read it by the title. But yeah, we are reviewing a CLA 45 AMG. I'm, I'm in two minds with these cars. Like, I don't know whether I like them, I don't like them, but it's, this is a stock CLA 45. We're gonna find out how quick it is. So let's get into it. So this is Jangs everyone. How you doing Jangs, you alright? Yeah, not bad, you? Yeah, good, good, good. Right, so this is his CLA 45 AMG, 4Matic. How long have you on this car, bro? Uh, bought it in March. Okay. Just towards the end, just before lockdown. Yeah. Got a nice deal on it, so I thought I'd grab it. Yeah. It since then. Okay. It's treating me well. Yeah? yeah. So you've owned it about, so it's about six, seven months yeah. now. And uh, how are you finding, obviously, Guys, just if any of you don't know, this is basically how would you say it? So, you got A45 AMG and then you got the CLA45 AMG, obviously a coupe version, four doors for more whores. <laughs> basically, no, so um, yeah, so that, that this is based off A45, uh, A45 AMG. Um, this comes as a two litre, yeah, two litre, two litre, four cylinder turbo. 355 but as Jangs was saying this particular version is pushing 381 bhp which is quite a lot of power for a little coupe in terms of obviously drive wise four wheel drive everything this obviously this is four wheel drive formatic system it's got the seven speed dual clutch transmission right dual clutch, yeah that's right yeah uh, how are you finding it do you know what it's actually quite good yeah the issues so far it's been very reliable yeah it's economical if you're <laughs> if you, you know, haven't got a heavy foot yeah if you've got a light <laughs> foot it's economical <laughs> but if you've got a heavy foot like most of us then, yeah yeah it's a bit mad in terms of obviously sound delivery exhaust yeah do you know what as it's completely stock i probably won't do anything to it yeah like, it sounds pretty good as a stock exhaust yeah yeah yeah. no the, the, yeah. the amgs do sound quite nice in stock version obviously some people do go crazy and yeah what happens most of the time when you start the car in comfort yeah from the exhaust system only one side will turn on okay but once you put it in s and s plus yeah. the other side will turn on and that's where you hear the crackles and the pops and, ah, that stuff. and uh, in terms of handling how's this handle yeah it's not bad actually yeah with, with the, the four wheel drive, drive yeah it's nice the launch is all good and that it gets off the line quite quick no way um i would say if, if you're like rolling yeah it's a bit laggy to you know get in the right gear and stuff like that yeah um even in the like, s plus or sign but okay yeah, if yeah. you're doing it from launch or if you're manually changing the gears you're good you know yeah 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 it's those ones that's it so obviously the car being a stock car there's not much that we can actually talk about apart from the aesthetics which uh, to be honest like it i think it does look really nice i don't know why like it i don't know it's like it's a hit and miss isn't it with a lot of people some people really hate this car some people really like this car i'm i'm in between like at first i was like oh i don't know about them you know whatnot but you know when you see one in the flesh you sit inside it you drive it i don't know man they're just sometimes you get you have a change of heart in terms of interior you got them sexy buckets in it yeah, let me open it up, take it straight through. Oh man, they look so nice. So like if you guys can see, he's got the AMG seats. Oh my god, they look so nice. I love these seats man. You know what? A lot of people do conversions yeah. and put these in the golfs. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> There's one guy, I'll see if I can find his Instagram, I'll yeah. put it in the description. He put he put um these seats in his Mark 4, I believe. Or Mark 5. Um, you yeah, know what? They, they hug you. Yeah, proper, you. proper, yeah. proper hug you. Other than that, I mean, kind of gone over everything. There's not much. Oh, it's got... The, okay, so this comes with the paddles. Paddle shifters, little gear knob. You know what? I prefer this gear knob 
oh, yeah, than the the lever, the yeah, stroke that what? comes on the. I know a lot. Of, they recently do they come with this or? Yeah, do you know what I've heard in America? Yes. Yeah. They had a few on the lever against the wheel, yeah. and then they moved it. I think after the 2014, sorry, 15 version. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, yeah so. definitely, I agree with you. I like it, Dan, and the center console. Hundred percent, hundred percent. I don't. I hate. I hate the one that is on the stalk on the side. But anyway, so I think we should go for a spin. You saying go for a spin? Yeah, let's go. Dan's gonna take me for a spin, and then obviously he's never actually sat in a passenger side of this, so today's gonna be the first day. So yeah, James is gonna show me what a CLA 45 actually really does and how it drives and how it handles and everything. So just drive anywhere you want to go. Um, so we had this conversation, Jags didn't actually want to be on camera and he was like, oh, we're a bit shy and whatnot. But I was like, look, it's, it's quite cool. Like, it's, everyone gets a bit nervous. Yeah, it's the first time <laughs> I've ever been on like video recording. It's gonna be YouTube, yeah. <laughs> but it's not too. It's not that bad, is it? Like, yeah, it's, it's one of those like me and you come and say in, and then obviously just to come and say and whatnot. Yeah. But straight off the bat, I can, I can. You know what? This drives nice. Oh yeah, thank you. Like it drives like a nice, just just a nice cold wall, and it's just. Yeah, do you know what? It's not too bad. Like the, uh, the suspension could be softer in comfort. Yeah. Um, but then you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you're jumping on AMG, you kind of have to sacrifice some sort of comfort. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. Obviously, when you go for that sort of package, yeah. Again, yeah, you're right. So what I'll do, like, obviously, the car, come, this one comes um, in independent comfort sports and sports plus. Yeah. So um, obviously, everything changes as you go through all that. Yeah. Um, I like to just keep it in comfort. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh, I'll switch it up to sports plus. Everything gets a bit louder and no, a bit stiffer. But you know what? There's just one thing that doesn't change that much, which is the stiffness of the steering. So it still feels quite quite light. I don't know Wait, why. that that sounds mad. Yeah, so I've switched out now. And then uh you know. Oh is that average speed there, yeah? <laughs> I believe so. It's about <laughs> 70. Yeah, it's yeah. mad. Exactly. And I noticed specifically about this car, yeah. 
zero to a hundred when I was out there doing those little pulls. It's yeah. lovely. Yeah. Hundred to one thirty. Yeah. You feel it, but one thirty and above, that's when you start noticing everything starts balancing. The G forces come down. So okay, so that's yeah. when it runs out of puff. Yeah, that's. I think after about one forty, that's when you're like, okay, now I need more power. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that was in Germany. You done that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So far, ever since I've owned the car, I think I've done probably about 4,000 miles only, so it's barely anything. Bad. 
Yeah, it's my mug was atrocious. Like it was bad. Like it changes getting like a couple seconds delayed. You know how you were saying when you put your foot down? Yeah. My mug was doing that on every gear. In every gear. Every gear. But it was driving perfect. Yeah. It's just the gear like changes are just shit. No, I think once it starts shifting, it's fine. It's just the beginning. Yeah. yeah it's just the beginning of this car specifically. Do you know what this 
you feel nice. I feel nice right now. Like right now, I just feel yeah. nice. Like the setting, everything on this car, just Mercedes, man. You killed it, man. You guys are just. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna call it. Just wanna say a big thank you to everyone that's been watching the channel and supporting. Uh, it's, it's, the journey's not come to an end. I've just bought another car. That's the new project car. That that this car that I've, I've purchased is gonna be a long-term car. Like it's it's a car that I've always wanted. Um, I know I say that with quite most of my cars. Mm. I say that I've always wanted this car. I've always, but this car in particular, I've wanted from a very very early stage of from me of me driving. And um, so yeah, there's gonna be a lot more videos on that. I still need to do the reveal on the car, which is probably either going to be today or you know, sometime soon. I've just been caught up with a lot of uh, work stuff and home stuff and the kids and etc. So yeah, so I just want to say a big thank you to everyone. If you're new to the channel and you've, you've enjoyed watching the video or any other video that you've clicked on maybe, uh, hit that subscribe button. Any of you like that already subscribe, you're, you guys already know what to do. Smash that thumbs up button. So until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace.